Do you find yourself going out of your way to be helpful, only to feel unappreciated or resentful later? You might be suffering from what's commonly known as nice guy syndrome. While it's called the nice guy syndrome, it's not just limited to men. Nice guy or girl syndrome is characterized by an overemphasis on pleasing others, seeking validation through excessive niceness and resorting to passive aggressive communication when expectations aren't met. While on the surface, being nice seems like an admirable trait, diving deeper uncovers some unattractive qualities that can hinder personal growth and relationships. Number 1. People-pleasing paradox Imagine this, you constantly prioritize others' needs, bending over backwards to make them happy, yet somehow end up feeling unfulfilled yourself. This is the paradox of the nice guy syndrome. While it's commendable to be considerate and compassionate, sacrificing your own well-being for the sake of others can lead to burnout and resentment. If you find yourself in the giving but not receiving loop, show yourself the same compassion and care you extend to others. This will help fill some of your personal needs while teaching you that giving is not a burden. It's a gift that should be done with a glad and full heart. Number 2. The Spotlight Effect a common trait of the nice guy syndrome is attention seeking, but it's done in a subtle way that you might not even notice. Nice guys often fall into the trap of seeking validation through their acts of kindness, expecting others to reciprocate with praise and admiration. When these expectations aren't met, feelings of disappointment and inadequacy arise, perpetuating a cycle of seeking validation through increasingly desperate means. However, you can overcome this by learning to validate yourself. Invest time into your personal goals and projects. Slowly, you will find that you no longer need the approval of others, nor feel disappointed when they don't rise to your expectations. Number 3. Passive-aggressive pitfall, agreeing to do something while harboring resentment because you feel like you've been obligated to do something is terrible. It's a waste of effort, and above all, it's passive-aggressive. Unfortunately, it is common for those with nice guy syndrome to feel this way. Why? Some of the reasons are stated above, but another reason is that they haven't learned to communicate their needs. The result is passive-aggressive communication and anger. Passive-aggressive communication becomes the weapon of choice for nice guys, as they struggle to assert their needs and boundaries directly. Instead of expressing their frustrations openly, they resort to subtle jabs, sarcasm or withdrawal, leading to strained relationships and misunderstandings. A way to prevent this is through honesty. First, be honest with yourself about your personal needs and what you really want. Once you can admit to yourself what you want, then you'll feel comfortable sharing it. But don't expect others to understand or consider your needs. Seek fulfillment outside of others. Number 4. Low Points While someone with nice guy or girl syndrome may seem put together and giving, on the inside they battle with self-esteem issues like many of us. It is because of issues with self-esteem and self-worth that they become a nice guy. But being nice should not be a cover-up for insecurities. In fact, insecurities are not bad. We all have them. So allow yourself to be vulnerable and express your thoughts and feelings openly. Embrace and understand the source of your insecurities so that you can overcome them. If it becomes too much, consider seeking support from a therapist or counselor who can guide you through your insecurities and give you the tools for personal growth. Remember, being nice is wonderful but not at the expense of your own happiness and well-being. By breaking free from the constraints of nice guy syndrome, you can cultivate more fulfilling relationships and lead to a more authentic, balanced life. So, embrace your kindness, but don't let it mask your true self.